got the snack money. Always asking me for <laughs> snack money. You little stinker. What are you going to buy? What are you wanting to buy? A cookie. A cookie? <laughs> a dollar cookie? I could buy a whole pack for that. <laughs> Why don't I just pack you cookies? No. It's just something about buying them here, isn't it? There's no... We don't have any cookies right now. I know, but I could buy you a whole pack. Just mm -hmm. not the same, is it? You like your snack money? You do some snack money. <laughs> We've had a rough week. I'm giving you snack money. I'm going to. Are you feeling better? Yeah. No. No? Huh? No. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get sad again. We got this. Okay, snack money? Snack money. Let's get snack money. All right, guys, this is about as real as it gets for Mama Bear looking like crazy in the morning time. No makeup, and I'm vlogging. Uh, we just had a rough week, guys. I don't know. My YouTube is usually just happy family because, honestly, that's what kind of family we are, but... <sighs> Military families, it's hard. If you follow me in your military, like it, comment, <laughs> agree. As an adult, you suck it up and you move on. And, and you look at all, everything positive that's going to come from it. And you try to pass that same positivity along to your kids. And that's all I do. I mean, you guys are with me when I'm vlogging. Oh, but we are struggling this week. Here it is, Thursday. Christian's not been to school in three days. It started out he was sick. I didn't really think he was sick. Um, but he had a meltdown in the car Monday about he was sick. His stomach was sick. He wanted to go home. So even though my kid loves school, he would tell you he loves school. He loves his friends. So honestly, if he's melting down mentally, that's where I worry. So I was like, you know what, dude? Okay, sick day. Let's go home. We snuggled in bed. We played. We laughed around. I thought, okay, we'll be ready to go by tomorrow. That night, he was super, super, just almost like scared and just, I can't go tomorrow. I can't go tomorrow. Oh, mom, I'm sick. I'm, I'm sick. And I thought, no, I've been with you all day. You're not sick. But I don't know. He was so worried about something. So finally, after talking and talking and just trying to realize what's going on, he has told us about a kid, which he had been telling us about a kid. And maybe we downplayed it a little bit because kids will be kids. And um, I guess this kid is truly bullying him at school and other kids. So we've dealing, we're dealing with that. We have reached out to the school. We have talked to him. So I let him do online school until they could get the classroom moved around and things situated on the other end. But then today we're back to, I mean, it's Thursday. And, and he's still like... That was the most heartbreaking thing I've done, guys, because honestly, when my kid is, like, I'm not going to put that on camera because I know he doesn't like that. You only, you only caught certain pieces, but the whole morning he has cried about going to school. And I honestly just want to hug him and keep him at home. Like, I, I just, that's just what I want to do. And I know that because this little boy loves friends. He loves people. So I don't know. And I think it honestly is, as when me and him were talking this morning, I think it's just, he does have friends, but it's not the same as his friends in the UK. It's just, we're having moving pains right now. They are delayed, but that is what's happening right now. He's went into a new school system. It's different. And like dad asked me last night, he's like, he's like six, like, he just makes friends and you just go on, right? And I'm like, yeah, but he knows this is not his home. It's not what he calls home. And and before there was American kids mixed in, but he still had Brits mixed in. The culture was different. And now it's just full on American culture. And I know my American followers think what in the world and my UK followers think what in the world, but we all know that it's different between the two. He's only ever known a UK life and He's just got some struggles right now about, obviously, the school part. Um, that's the only indication he's ever gave me besides, he does tell me. Finally, he has admitted that maybe our home is his home too. Like, 
I don't know. He still struggles with, I mean, he just misses his old home and his old friends. And and I'm not going to lie, I cried for five minutes before I even turned this camera on, guys. I mean, I just want to hug him. I just want to take him to the park and play. And we just call it a day. <laughs> that is. Because at six, I think that's all you should be worried about. Nothing else. And I've tried to explain to him that everybody's home life is not the same. And I think that's where the bullying part I downplayed a little bit because guys, everybody's home life's not the same. That little boy, I mean, me and him snuggle. We love, we read, we read the Bible at night. Everybody's not doing that at home. And so different kids bring different attitudes <laughs> to school. And I don't know. I just think my little boy's in a little bit of a shock right now being mixed. I don't know being mixed in <sighs> struggles real guys I mean super real I mean it's just part of being a military family and moving and everyone deals with it differently so we're gonna see if he makes it through the day we've already talked to his teacher we actually got the dean of the school involved and everything because if bullying is the true issue that's an issue for me because he, when he tells me, you know, he might not feel safe because of another kid at school. We're talking about a six-year-old. I don't like not feeling safe at all, even being brought into the sentence. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. So stay tuned to see what happens with us in school. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like kind of lost for words right now. But I'm sitting in Lowe's parking lot. I'm supposed to go in here and get some pots for my plants because me and Christian are going to work on a garden and yeah that's what I'm going to do and just kind of mindlessly walk around Lowe's for a minute and try to clear my head I don't know okay guys let's go to Lowe's all right guys see 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 I don't know what we're going to do this year squash always sounds good Carrots. You gotta have a big area for carrots, though. I mean, we know we want cucumbers, but I know they made baby cucumbers too, like for small gardens. Can't remember what they're called, though. I'm gonna have to look it up. But there's all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna have to do some research. And then this, like, Christian wants to grow pumpkins and everything else. And I was like, buddy, we don't have enough land. So we are gonna have to do some research and try to figure out what we're gonna grow this year. Have all these starter pots, but yeah, we don't need that. Onions, oh, uh, don't get into flowers. All right, but that's not what we're here for today. We are here for pots, guys. They have this, and it kind of stands up taller because I have to have something so my dogs cannot get into it and eat it. Because my garden in the UK they ate, but that's nowhere near big enough. I mean, that's big enough for tomatoes or peppers. So I have to think outside that box. We just need some black pots for today. Oh, I love all this stuff. So fun. These little houses, this is cute. And I love these rubber plants. Oh, what's this? Prickly. Hey guys, my absolute favorite, favorite flower. Oh, these are beautiful. I love these. But I'd have these all over my house if I had somewhere to put them, but I don't. But we might find a spot for at least one. Okay, guys, so I'm back in the car. Of all days, I wear my, like, Milton Hall, Lake and Heath shirt. So this sweet old lady inside of Lowe's as I'm checking out, she's like, oh, do you love it there? And I'm like, oh, yeah, my son does too. Okay. I was like, <laughs> this lady don't want to see and hear my life story. She seemed interested and she let me talk. And sometimes it's just good to talk, guys. But... I did nothing. Like, I got one pot. You know, sometimes they say, like, when you shop, it releases endorphins. And some people, that's therapy. Not me. Stuff's on my mind. That don't help at all. I just wander around going, nah, that's not good enough. Nah, that's not what I want. So, anyways, Caroline's already texted me wanting to know if I'm coming home soon because she's ready to go to Zumba. So, we have started working out again. Have not worked out since the pandemic started. So that's kicking our tail, but we're going to go do that this morning. So we are going to go hit a Zumba class. We've been doing it for about a week now. Last night we did it and I'm not barely able to walk this morning, but we're going to go do it again today for some reason. 
So that's where we're gonna head, home into the gym. Okay. So now we're heading to the gym. We're gonna do some Zumba. Get our sweat on. I. This is like. Don't my, put my arms in this. <laughs> Ew, just this, focus on you. This is my third class. So when I say that I'm struggling, I'm legit struggling. Like I used to be so coordinated with dance, and like if you follow me on TikTok or family on TikTok, you can tell that like I can dance. But when I'm in Zumba, wheeze my mind way over there like it's so bad I'm giving up super easily like I'm so bad like I'm not even in shape it's so bad but I'm hoping I can keep going more again more I didn't shape. realize about the coordination about I was not doing it for a year about just kind of losing your rhythm like I'm trying to find my rhythm again it's really bad like I have lost all my coordination on how to do certain moves and yeah it was it's just really bad <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to get our sweat on yeah Caroline today is going fishing on a boat. She's nervous. And it's not even fishing. He has this little tiny lake behind his house. And it's like there's one of those canoe fishing boats. It looks like a canoe, but it has a motor on it. And I'm so scared that thing's going to flip. With your phone and everything. I don't mind even taking my phone, but I don't want to be wet or get a parasite because the boat flips. I've already told her guys to vlog today. Hopefully, are you going to vlog it? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how nervous I'll be. <laughs> I think you should vlog it. We want to you see it. You should vlog it. I want to see this. Right? So it'll be a really good vlog. It'll be really <laughs> funny. Me on a boat. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know how the boat is sturdy. And that's because I don't want to take my phone and then, like. It fall in the water? Yeah. That's like kind of reason. I'm already terrified enough. Okay. Go ahead. All right. We're going in the gym, guys. Okay. We're excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I, I would have dressed up if I knew. I know today's 80s theme. Yeah. I would have dressed up. You can put your Zumba gear on. I know, I need to get that stuff back out of the put it on top of my closet because like, I'm never going to use this stuff again. You thought you never did Zumba again? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't you're, even know where my You're my, my kid. I don't know where my stuff is. So mine's not in my closet. I just need to get out some of the shirts so I have some stuff to wear. We are Zumba for life, girl. Yeah. Or until I'm 80 like, can't do it. I need to new workout stuff because I was like, I really have no like, no like, workout shirt. So I'm like wearing my old cheer shirt as to like work out. Have you seen the clothes I have on today? It's okay. Because it looks like a workout shirt though. Like I need something like that to work okay. out in. Okay guys, we're walking to the car. Watch out that car. I see it. Okay. We've decided that we loved her. Yeah? Her class was awesome. We're sweating. Look really gross. Good really good workout. Ethan was there. So is he leaving soon so y'all can go on your boat? Oh, he's got two more workouts, then he's going to go home and take a shower, and then we're going to lose Caroline. Oh, Caroline. You're getting eaten by an alligator. You're not. It could be an alligator. could be a snake. Just swamp water. You just never know. No, you're going to be fine. My kids act I think, like... I think it's going to be fine, but... Man. Guys, you know, I'm sure Michelle's not doing story time today. This just... No. But I grew up... I caught mountains on fires like we played in creeks we took four wheelers out if you would have told me you got a boat and we can see if it can float or sink i'd have been like yeah let's make it sink my kids but it might sink i might would have to swim <laughs> i don't know how to swim no guys if you're not watching her vlogs just, i don't want a parasite or some parasites can kill you is antibiotics for them not when it gets in your brain what and oh my lord, you need to not. My husband says I did this to him as a nurse. Look, as my hand gets tired. My hand's too tired to hold the camera, guys. My husband says I do this as a nurse. I tell him about too much stuff. I am. I am medical related in our house. Like, I'm already teaching our son, like, it's not his armpit, it's his axillary. Okay, I do do that. But I never came home and showed you parasites in your brain. Like, stop reading that nonsense, Caroline. Just. It is one in a million chance that that could happen, guys. Disclaimer on the video. But don't just just live your life, sweetheart. Clay, one of those nose pluggers, oh so nothing can get up my nose. Man, the stuff we used to do as kids, I'm lucky to be alive. And she worries about parasites. Okay, anyways, we are going to go home. We're going to shower. Definitely She's going to leave us. Me and Michaela's going to go to Walmart. We're going to eat. I cooked hamburgers last night on my grill. It was like 8 o'clock at night, but I was out there grilling away. I loved it. Um, anyway, so I got leftover hamburger. So, Michaela, mean you going to go home and have a hamburger? Maybe. Oh, you feel too sick? I might not. Too hot? Yeah, it depends on how I thought I'd shower. Tell me shower and stuff, yeah. Maybe, yeah. 
Okay, and I'm not promising after the shower that I'm gonna look too much better, guys. So, sorry about that. This might just be my face for today, no makeup. I can't believe I'm vlogging with not a lick of makeup on. I wouldn't care about the makeup if my hair was doing something besides whatever it's doing. Oh, your bangs you can actually pull up. Yeah, my curtain bangs. Mm -hmm. You can pull them up, that's why I told you, get them and you could pull them up. Get them. Okay guys, we've been home, we've ate, Caroline's out going fishing. Me and Michaela's in the car, we are headed to Walmart. Told you guys, I showered and it didn't get much better for today. <laughs> I feel clean. Uh, yes, I'm clean, so that's nice. I smell like Dove Lotion, and Michaela smells good, so that's a plus. All right, we already made it to the candy aisle. My favorite. And I love the white. The, the white, white eggs. The white Reese's are my favorite. Yeah, why does it taste different? Because it's white chocolate? I don't know, but they taste better to me. Okay. I mean, the normal ones are good, too. I think the normal ones are my favorite, and the shaped ones. These are cute too. Look at these. They're eggs. Yeah, but I probably want those. No, know. I'm just saying. Like, what's it? So it's just, yeah, it's just a Reese's egg. It's shaped like an egg. That's cute. In the little carton. I like it. I love holidays. Different stuff comes out. What are you already eyeballing? I'm just trying to check out. Maybe I missed them because I love the Triple Hoy cookies. I'm just trying to Oh, you're trying to see if they're gluten free? Gluten free ones? Yeah. The so, guys, I got Christian some of these and she loves these. So now she wants some gluten free. Like, Walmart doesn't even have the gluten-free Oreos. No. Like, I guess you can only get those at like Publix or Target. Yep. They're behind, behind. Did you think Walmart would have everything? I don't like know. Walmart would be the first place to have something. She's got the hiccups, guys. I know, I hate it so much. <laughs> Look at this, Michaela. This would be fun They're jelly beans. They don't like jelly beans. But they're sours. No. Don't like jelly beans at all, no matter what they are. Okay. It looks like they open up because they're Huntables. So they have Huntables, yeah. Huntables. Huntables, and they open up. I personally don't, I personally don't like Reese's Pieces. Is it, is it the candy? It's the chocolate. So it looks like inside of it's the um, Reese's Pieces. Oh, it's a packet. Oh, it's a packet. Oh, but still, it's still showing that it cracks open and has the Reese's Pieces. I don't Pieces personally don't like Reese's Pieces. That's why I said I before for Christian. Does he like Reese's Pieces though? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not sure if he's ever even had them. Guys, here's what used to come in my Easter basket. No, they do make a gum like this, but this is the chocolate. It's just the Whoppers. That's some old candy right there. I know, there. I remember getting those in my um, Easter basket. basket too. The, the bunny bra, yeah. Okay guys, this is Christian's favorite thing right here in this piece. Look how many. Fruit punch. Cake, blue raspberry, watermelon, oh, hot tamale, your originals, chocolate. All right, Kata, which one do you think he'll like? Do you think he'd like the rue raspberry? Yeah. You think he'd enjoy that? Oh, just get the normal one. Just the normal? Just, ah. to, just to be safe. Let's see how big these are. Normal size. Yeah, it's normal. Well, these are a little bit smaller. No? No, they look the same. I think those are bigger. I kind of want to get these for him. Blue He's having a hard time right now. I know, you bribe your kid with like sweets, and but I no. Just, I think the blue raspberry he would actually like. Because that's why he likes his slushy. Yeah. Hey right, guys, I think we're going to get these. Because sometimes when you have a hard day yeah. or a hard week that we're having, mm -hmm. Nice to have a treat. What they got? Oh my goodness. I want to see that chicky. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. Huh? I like the cow. Oh, bunnies. Oh, a pig. I think those are bunnies. Yeah. Big bunny. There's a doggy. Those are too big though. I know, we're like, where are we putting those? I know. Oh, these are cute. I think he's out of the Paw Patrol stage though. Yeah, he's into Minecraft now. I know. I wish they had like a creeper. Look at this one. He rides a bicycle. I'm sorry, does he truly, can we put him down and try him? Does he truly ride this bicycle? Yeah, but it looks like he has battery. So he might not work. Oh. 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 
<laughs> He's cute too. He's cute. I think these are adorable. I don't know. They're kind of weird looking. I like that. I like the cute stuff. The cute stuff. He's cute. Wonder what he does. Oh. And I think that's cute too. Okay. But Christian has a beautiful basket. But it is cute. But I think I like him. He's soft too. You like so him or the bicycler? I like this one. You like the rabbit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay guys. So now we are in the car line to get my boy. I'm actually super excited. I'm ready for this. I've just been keeping myself busy today, honestly, to not even I don't know, think about it, and I'm still just thinking about it. So I just want to hear that his day was great. That's all I'm looking for. Don't really think that you're going to get much on camera because this morning, I, I, that's the thought. Even as soon as I got my camera out and we were filming, he's like, he just don't want to. So he's embarrassed that he's sad, which is crazy because, guys, we all have emotions. So anyways, we are going to pull in here and see, fingers crossed, that the little kid has been taken care of and that this day has went a lot better for my boy. All right, guys, we home. Oh, careful. I don't like the backpack. You don't like the backpack? Yeah. Silly. So, Mommy got you a treat. <laughs> not that, not that one. What? Brownies. Oh, I can't see you. Peeps? You know what peeps are? Yeah, he does. Of course. Hi. There's his favorite thing. One of his favorite things. But do you know what kind that is, Christian? You don't have to hide them. I promise you I'm not taking your peeps. What kind is it? Blue. Your favorite flavor. Trust me, I don't want the mine. I don't like these. So they're all yours. They're getting kisses? Where's my kisses? Mm -hmm. I love you. All right, guys. I'm going to end this vlog here because I am going to go inside and cook dinner and take Michaela to work later. So, sounds like... I don't know. I have an issue. So the kid was not removed today from the table and the principal did speak to Christian and the other child that is involved. And that is good. But from hearing the parents point of view and the fact that your child's missed three days of school because of this, I kind of thought the other kid would have been removed today, but that was not the case. But it does sound like the principal did speak to Christian and Christian's mood is better. So they explained to him that he should be safe at school and that they want him to feel safe. But at the same time you tell him that, the kid is still sitting next to him. So those are fine lines that are being played with. They said they will move the kid tomorrow. So we will go from there and make sure that that kind of happens or just do what we need to do on our end. Um, yeah, so we're gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next. Bye!